Number 67, using the value of the formation constant for the complex ion COnH36 with the 2 plus charge, calculate the disassociation constant. Okay, so I had to go in the back of the textbook to find out what that formation constant is for COnH36 2 plus. So I found that it was 1.3 times 10 to the fifth. That means that basically your two ions, at, well, in this case, we have the cobalt ion plus the ammonia is going to form together to produce, you know, come together to form the complex ion. If we want to find the disassociation constant, just know that disassociation is the breakdown, right? You're dissociating it into its parts. So in essence, all the time, disassociation, especially when we're talking about complex ions, disassociation is the exact reverse of formation. And if that's the case, all that it is, is that the values are, you know, inverse as well. So the formula is this. Anytime that you're trying to find your disassociation constant, which is KD, right? Disassociation constant KD from your formation constant, your formation constant is KF, F for formation, D for disassociation. It's just the inverse. So KD would equal one over the formation constant that I just had to go in the back of the textbook for. So 1.3 times 10 to the fifth. And then let's just plug it in and solve. So let's see. One divided by 1.3 times 10 to the fifth. I get seven point, I guess 7.7. 7 .7? 7 .7 times 10 to the negative six, no units for any K value. And that is the final answer. There you go. Okie dokie. I really hope this is helping you out. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I will be talking to you in future lessons. Have a great, great, great day.